okay least count multiple okay with using vert vertical and crosswise this is the video on computing least count multiple using vertically and crosswise okay let's continue this is video number 20 part 4 of 4 i divided the video on four parts and this is the fourth part let's continue from here let's go next section here we uh, do a compute LCM using vertically and crosswise. Let's continue here. This section is from Vedic Math for Schools, Volume 3. And the book uses examples of LCM of two numbers only. Okay. Okay, let's continue here. In section, we'll use this uh, sutras. Vertical and crosswise. And individual and universal. Okay, let's continue here. By the way, anytime we multiply or divide, we are using the proportional sutra too. When number has a factor, it's a proportional to that factor. Okay, let's continue. Determining factor is also determining proportionality. Example is LCM of 12 and 30. Okay, let's continue. Set up the number in the same way as we did for LCM by division. Okay, let's continue. So we did 12, 30 and we try and divide. Okay. The two numbers are divisible by two, so we divide by two. Okay. Divide by two, so we have six okay. and a fifteen. Okay. So twelve divided by two is six. Thirty divided by two is fifteen. Okay. Let's continue. Now two numbers have a common factor three, so we will divide by three again. Three. It's a multiple of three, and this one is a multiple of three. Let's continue again. So we divide by three. 6 divided by 3 is a 2, and 15 divided by 3 is a 5. Okay, let's continue here. The two numbers are now co prime. 2 and 5 do not have any common factor other than 1. So they are co prime, okay? relatively prime. Okay, let's continue here. LCM is cross size product like 30 times 2 or 12 times 5. Let's continue here. LCM is 12 times 5 which is 60 or 30 times 2 crosswise it is 60 30 times 2 let's continue here LCM of 12 and 30 is 60 let's explore it further so we have done so far we have done that we tried to find LCM of, of 12 and 30 and we after dividing by common factors okay we got uh, this uh, this form here 2 and 3 are common factors common to all the numbers and 2 and 5 are the relatively uh, prime numbers left. Okay, So let's continue here. According to Glover's book, uh, the two common factors 2 and 3 are universal factors. Okay? And the, the co-prime factor 2 and 5 are individual factors. Okay? HCF is pro product of universal factors. HCF is product of the universal factors. LCM is product of universal factors and individual factors and so that is product of HCF times the product of individual factors okay let's continue here so sutra used is here individual and universal individual and universal okay. let's continue here let's do another example this time we'll do a 96 and 72 find LCM of LCM as uh, 96 and 72 set up the number the same way as we did before let's continue here okay okay let's continue okay let's find out to divide two number by count factors these two have a count factor of eight okay let's continue so divided by eight okay. 96 divided by eight is 12 72 divided by eight is nine okay, let's continue here they divide two number by con factor again of three. Twelve and nine have a con factor three. Twelve and three. So we still have universal factors here. Okay. Twelve divided by three is a four. Nine divided by three is a three. Three and four are com co prime. Okay. So and no more con factors. Okay. So LCM is ninety six times three, which is two eighty eight. R seventy two times four, which is two eighty eight. Let's continue. This is the okay. key.
Some exercises here. By LCM of two number six three one four five two three six five nine one six five three zero four two four five seven one five nine three three zero five one two five nine nine two one six three one eight two seven two three four three one nine four seven three one eight two two four zero eight three nine six nine one zero two nine five zero seven two zero six seven hey, if you find like the, that little too complicated not too hard just to uh, escape them okay okay and seven four three three and seven sixty sixty one let's continue two eight eight two and one four seven four let's continue here is an example I encountered in fifth grade maybe in sixth grade okay in India they have ladders so we climb from one floor to the next floor using the ladders and uh, in some of the homes, they still have ladders, okay, and uh, okay. so they have steps on them. And uh, if it, if I scale the ladder going from one floor to the next floor, in two steps at a time, in the end, one step is left at the end. Okay, if I try to scale three steps at a time, I get two steps left in the end. Okay. If I get scale four steps at a time, the three steps are left in the end. How many steps does ladder have if the number of steps are between number numbers 30 and 40? Okay. First of all, okay, uh, we try to find out what the number of steps are. Okay. Let's continue. And uh, someone asked me this question here, and I said 35. Okay, and the okay, cake. So when the the friend asked me how I found that, I say, hey, are you. I told him that was easy. You said number of steps are between 30 and 40, and number in right in the middle is 35. So that must be the number. Okay. All right. Well, that's the wrong uh, wrong approach. It's that's not the way to approach it. I know I got lucky that time, and I might have got lucky other times too, but that's not the way we do it. Okay. Let's continue. It's LCM problem. Okay. Of course, we finally figured out how to solve the, that problem. Continue. Here's a problem here. Book figuring has a decent explanation, which uh, a similar problem, a little more complicated than what we have here, but it has a decent explanation, okay, and which uh, uh, really clarifies uh, how to approach a problem like that. Okay. First of all, let number of steps be x. Okay. I know some of the students in some schools would say that the x variable x or algebra is not allowed in fifth grade, but uh, Let's take that liberty here. Let number of steps be x. Let's see if we can use it. Okay. So then x plus one is divisible by two. Okay. Two steps are left in uh, in one step left. In, so if I if I add one more step to that, then means that it becomes two and then have zero left. That means x plus one is divisible by two. Okay. Let's go for next thing here. If I scale three steps at a time, two are left. If I had a two plus one were left, then that would be zero left after that. So we'll have a x plus one is divisible by three. Then okay. similarly from this next line here, I scale four steps at a time, three are left. If I had one more step, I would have zero left. So x plus one is divisible by four. Okay. Okay, so we know so far. So then x plus 1 is a multiple of 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Is a multiple of 2, 3, and 4. Okay. And LCM of 2, 3, 4 is 12. Okay. We can, LCM is 2, 3, 4 is 12. You can compute that. Uh, 2 is a common factor of the two first two numbers, uh, first and last numbers. So we get a uh, 3 times 4 uh, is uh, the LCM 12. Okay. And the multiples x plus 1 must be is a multiple in 12, 24, and 36, and 48. Given our problem that number is between 30 and 40, this is the multiple we are going to use. x plus 1 is 36 to solve this problem here. That means desired value of x is 36 minus 1, which is 35. This is how we need to solve that problem, which I just solved 30 plus 40 divided by 2. Let's continue. Is, uh, we, have, we use that uh, Bharti Gita book is the main reference to anything we do in Vedic math. The next is uh, discover Vedic math can by Ken Williams is most complete, authoritative, and consistent notations. 
the only thing is it's organized by sutras and not by the topics okay and Vedic math for school in three volumes by James T Glover Mr. Glover used these books uh, in his, his school they're easy to use uh, easy to read very complete contain significant geometry which I have not covered let's continue here and also uh, mentioned uh, figuring by book figuring by Sikundla Devi let's continue 